कम प्लीज कम कार्तिके जसवाल गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग प्लीज सिट डाउन कार्तिके तो कार्तिके टेल द पैनल अबाउट योर सेल्फ वेरी ब्रीफली अबाउट योर एकेडमिक क्वालिफिकेशन योर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इफ एनी एंड योर मेन हॉबीज थैंक यू फॉर द ऑपरचुनिटी सर आई एम कार्तिके जायसवाल एंड आई बिलोंग टू खंडवा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश आई टुक माई स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम टिल टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम सेंट पायस हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल इन खंडवा डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड देर आफ्टर फॉर माई इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई जॉइन श्री सत्य साई हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल इन प्रशांति निलयम आंध्र प्रदेश देर आफ्टर फॉलोइंग माई लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग इंटरेस्ट आई जॉइन सेंट स्टीफन्स कॉलेज इन डेली यूनिवर्सिटी एंड देर आई नोचर्ड माई हॉबी ऑफ वॉचिंग फिल्म especially the new noir genre and i also participated in different service activities and to fulfill my ambition of devoting my life to public service i have attempted the civil services examination to so, kartike uh, you are from madhya pradesh yes uh, you have heard certain incidents which have happened uh, during a uh, festival few year, few yes. days ago yes sir. and seven states were affected there were some Yes. communal tensions and and madhya pradesh uh, in khargon yes, you know sir. i think was the most discussed yes sir now uh, why was it most discussed as compared to other places in general sir khargon has been communally sensitive and khandwa which is also a neighboring district from where i come has also been communally sensitive and i think there were certain lapses in policing because because of the tensions which have already been built over the years there could have been steps to be taken but there were some lapses and therefore the issue is being discussed more i think the issue is discussed more this is my feeling because you know there was some incident which was initiated immediately after the riots took place uh some encroachments were bulldozed yes sir uh, are you aware of that yes sir so you think that that has uh, you know ignited the matter further and suppose you were the dm of uh, you know that khargon district would you have done this what was done in terms of in removing the encroachment and bulldozing them the very next day uh, after the riots happened if i was the dm of khargon district i would first see if the encroachments which are being said which are made on public land i would first see whether they are really encroachments and whether i have the authority either so kartike you had the authority also and you it, they were actually encroachments let me solve your problem what would you have done in my opinion i would first give a notice to the residents of those places so that they can make arrangements and if i have the authority and there are illegal encroachments i would go by what is in the law what is in the rules and accordingly i will take action when when would you have done it suppose if you had served the notice and they had accepted the same day yes sir it is an encroachment you would have bulldozed the very very day not specifically the uh, is the timing important for you like when it should have been done if the encroachments are illegal then as soon as the notice comes that the encroachments are illegal i will take action i will okay. not wait for okay. riots or anything else so you have heard about uh, common university entrance uh, test cuet yes sir so what are your what is your take about the the pros and cons i feel that cuet is a welcome step in order to decrease the inconvenience caused to the students as well as to the universities and also decreasing the costs and harassment which sometimes the par- parents of candidates face however i feel that due weightage should have been given to the marks of 12th standard also because schooling is also a very important part of a person's life and especially the 11th and 12th standard so i feel maybe 50% weightage to 12th standard and 50% to cuet would be the right step so you are a stephanian Yes, sir. Stephen's College has taken a view on the CUET. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. What is it? They have said that they will give eighty eighty five percent weightage to CUET and fifteen percent to interviews. So, what do you have to say about it? It is different from what you are suggesting. Would which model would you prefer? The one 
Stefanian model or the one that you have in mind? I feel that the model which I have in mind would be more holistic, uh, taking in view the accomplishments which a person gets in their school also. However, if the college is willing to assess those accomplishments based on the interview that they are going to take, then I think it is their policy because it is a minority institution and they have the right to take such steps. Okay, uh, Kartike, uh, Indo-US dialogue 2 plus 2, yes, sir. very briefly tell, how has India benefited with these two-day dialogues? In my opinion, the partnership in the Indo-Pacific maritime region has strengthened. Combined transfer of technology and production of defense products is going to take place now. And also, I feel that there is a mutual synergy in terms of Indo-US 2 plus 2 dialogue, which is a part of the larger quad dynamics. So, in that way, we are building our relationship with the US and strengthening it further. Thank you, Karthike. Please, Thank sir. you, sir. Yes, sir. There are three international personalities who also come from Khandwa. Can you name the three international personalities? Kishore Kumar, Alok Kumar, uh, Ashok Kumar and uh, Anup Kumar. These three were brothers who made their name in the film industry and became popular internationally. However, apart from these three film personalities, there are also persons like famous poet Mr. Makhanlal Chaturvedi and Dadaji Dhuniwale Shrine is very famous from Khandwa. Have you heard of Rajneesh Osho? I'm sorry, sir. Rajneesh Osho. Achara Rajneesh. No. You have not heard of Rajneesh. Okay. No, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi? No, sir. Well, it is perhaps at your age, they not, may not be of relevance. You mentioned something about policing. Yes, that sir. policing was wanting in Khargaon. Yes, sir. What do you think was wanting in the police action? I feel that they should have taken a pre-event analysis of what is the root of the procession. They should also have taken into account what could be the possibilities of stone pelting or other untoward events. Because these this exist in every police station by the name of Teoha register, festival register. Okay. These ingredients are there. Okay. Either they did not take a look at it, they did not rehearse it, they did not anticipate it. Now, I have given you a hint. Now, you develop on this premise. This is a permanent record of every police station in the country. And for every festival, you are supposed to take a look, review, rehearse the three hours. Probably that was missing. Go ahead. I feel that there is a need for capacity building in the police stations and also there is a need to review these things every once in a while to make the constabulary aware of what are the protocols available. Because what happens is sometimes in due course, the policing gets slightly weakened because of lack of rehearsing and reviewing, as Sir mentioned. Karthik, I would like to understand from you that stockpiling of brick bats on rooftops Stockpiling of lattes, stockpiling of Molotov cocktails, any petrol bombs, it doesn't happen overnight. And if it has happened, well, the police have a lot of explaining to do. How can such things happen when the administration is alert? Obviously, something went horribly wrong. If you had been the SP or the DM, what would you have done? Knowing fully well that it is a communally sensitive area, the certain proactive and preventive action that were warranted, what would you have done? This situation warrants preventive detention of people who have been engaged in such activities in the past. It also warrants cordoning off of the procession path and taking and maintaining monitoring through good. Now I understood that you have a good grasp and a good conceptual knowledge of what yes. robust policing is all about. Now coming to the bulldozer. I think uh, there has to be a clarity. You have said that if it is an illegal encroachment, I will bulldoze. Okay? You gave a notice. Now tell me, this is an illegal encroachment. You give a notice. Although, do you think a notice is required where it is a blatantly an encroachment on your police lines? Do you think is a, is a notice required? 
Yes. I'm giving a specific example. An encroachment has happened on the police lines or on the DM's bungalow. Do you think a notice is required? Yes, I feel that notice is required. Okay, you serve the notice. What is the time span that you'll give to remove the encroachment on his own sewer motor? 15 days, sir. So you'll wait for 15 days. Good. I, I, I'm not. Yes, sir. Or do you think the impact would be much diluted after 15 days than immediate bulldozing of an enclosure that is blatantly illegal on the DM's compound or the collectorate or the SP's office or the police lines? Now you have scenario one that you bulldoze it immediately or you bulldoze it after 15 days. The encroachment is blatantly illegal. After measurements of the land there, that this encroachment, say it is a temple, say it is a bazaar, whatever it is, then you will give them 15 days? Yes, sir. Or just say, thank you very much, remove it 24 hours, the bulldozer is here, either remove it in front of me or I will bulldoze you right in front of me. Count three, one, two, three and your bulldoze. What will be your line of action? I feel that immediately bulldozing the structure would increase communal tensions in the region and therefore it is important for the situation to settle down a little bit. It will also give time to the people who are residing in that place to make other arrangements and it will also dilute the communally high situation and then if the illegal encroachment is there, I will take action against that. Now my last question to you about encroachments. Yes. Encroachments have assumed epidemic proportions. Don't you think it is an exercise worth taking? How did the encroachments happen in the first place and who is complicit and involved in this multi crore enterprise? Don't you think it is also an exercise? And who amongst us is also complicit in facilitating encroachments? One who is encroached is on the firing line, in the arc of fire. But those who have facilitated amongst us, don't you think it is also? Nobody talks about that. In my opinion, it is very important that an intra-departmental inquiry is made into any actions from the department which may have facilitated such encroachments and strict action should be taken against those officers who have facilitated such things. Thank you, sir. Have you heard of Eastern it is in Deoghar district of Jharkhand and a ropeway malfunction took place because of which for more than 40 hours people were languishing in those ropeways and a rescue operation was conducted by the air force to take out people from those ropeways. However, three persons were dead, they could not be rescued. As far as I have information about it, apart from Air Force, the local police was also involved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They were also involved. So these agencies, so these agencies were involved. Do you think they did a good job in rescuing? I think they did their best. However, there were some snap from the rope with which they were carrying one person and that resulted in the death of a person which was very unfortunate. So care should have been taken to bring equipment which was of high quality so that no life is lost in this regard. Okay. The next on international relations I would like to know from you that very recently I am seeing a reaction from Germany in stopping India from participating in the G20 summit. Are you aware of it? No, sir. Why is Germany doing that? And all? So anyway, later when you get time, please read it. I sure, would like to we'll take your time now. This is very Thank important you, and latest happening. Eh? Sure. Sir. Uh, you mentioned in your bio profile about neo noir films. Yes. Sir. What is it actually? Very briefly. Neo I don't know. Tell me. Neo noir genre is a revival of film noir genre which was existing in Hollywood in 1950s and 60s. It has specific elements of visual representation, characters and themes which are portrayed in those films. Any 
बॉलीवुड फिल्म यू कैन नेम वन फिल्म विच इज मॉडल्ड ऑन दैट दिस जॉन वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट there is a film called raman raghav 2.0 it was made by mr anurag kashyap in 2016 and it can be categorized into neo noir genre okay and kanwa uh, you have already said what tell me something wise today that is april 14 significant for india why so in many ways april 14 is significant you for give me two April 14 is a new year day for different regions called by different names for instance it is also harvest festival in assam and northern india called baisakhi in northern india uh, bihu in uh, rongali bihu in assam novaborsha in odisha and by different names in different parts of the uh, country and secondly today is also the 131st birth anniversary of dr b r ambedkar so these are major two points okay last question to you on international relations is that we saw the new prime minister of pakistan in case we have followed yes sir. as soon as he took over he said china is a true and tested friend and he also said unless kashmir issue is resolved there is no chance of any improvement of relations with india Yes, and these two issues exactly his predecessor was using all through yes sir his nearly 3 years in office so how is it different according to your estimation how is the new person different from it he is following the same script what do you think i think the rhetoric which has been going on in pakistan is mostly catering to the domestic people who are resident there and they are trying to portray their majority their popular mandate in the legislature of pakistan however the government in pakistan is mostly in a way controlled by the army and therefore the popular mandate gets sidelined in their legislature okay thank you thank you sir yes sir have you seen tribal culture from those parts I would not say I have seen tribal culture, but I have read about tribal culture in Madhya Pradesh. What do you like most about tribal culture? The mural arts. Mural arts. Yes. Okay. What else? The handicrafts which tribals mm-hmm. make, and uh, the textiles work which tribals do. These are very fascinating. And their social behavior. Anything about their social behavior? Their social behavior. Yes, they have been traditionally. a little secluded from a little secluded from the mainstream people however now by the initiatives taken by the government and also because of changing social dynamics tribals are also getting into the mainstream in madhya pradesh okay the sex ratio among tribals is higher than the general population yes. what could be possibly the reasons the cultural reason is a major factor because in some tribal regions a matrilineal system in society is followed which gives more importance to women in society so that is a major factor which makes sex ratio in tribals higher than in non tribals uh karthik you have been staying in delhi also for quite i think last four five years uh, so uh women safety still is an issue in delhi despite yes. lot of actions taken by the government yes sir. what uh, as a Police commissioner or deputy commissioner of a district. What action would you take to make sure that women are safe in your area? There is a need to collect data of which are the vulnerable spots for crimes against women. There is also a need to identify the the steps which can be taken so that. women feel safe for instance the pink autos and the pink boots which have been started by the delhi government are a welcome step in that regard and also there is a need for sensitization of men in our society so that a progressive step comes from the society itself and not from enforcement agencies now in india uh, approximately 55% of population is engaged with agriculture as, as a major economic activity whereas contribution of uh, agriculture to our gdp in the, in the range of 18% yes sir so are you happy with the situation or you would like to change 
Yes, then what are the steps would you take to change the situation? I would surely like to change the situation. And I think India is in a way leapfrogging from agriculture to services. However, manufacturing and other industrial sectors is one place where a majority of our population can get employment. In that regard, I would take the following steps. I would see that the implementation of the schemes which have already been going on in India, such as Make in India, Startup India, Stand Up India, these schemes take a jump and proliferation of credit to people who are from vulnerable sections, skilling and entrepreneurship training for people who can go in that direction is a major step which is required. Also, reskilling and upskilling for the people who are in service sector and also who are coming up in industrial sector is a need of the hour. Now, Sri Lanka is facing unprecedented economic and political crisis. Yes. What action government of India has taken and what additional action do you propose that India should take as a part of its neighborhood first policy? India has already extended help in the form of 2.4 billion US dollars of help in the form of loan deferment and credit lines and currency swap agreements. Also, India has sent materials such as fuel, rice yeah. and other essential medicines so that people in Sri Lanka do not face the harshness of the economic crisis. However, there are reports that Sri Lanka is going to ask for more monetary help from India. But I think the essential products which are required for the sustenance of population there is one place in which India can help, especially in the transport of food grains and medicines to Sri Lanka, so that these essential commodities are provided to the people. Okay. Now, my last question is uh, from your hobbies or your. You, you were a school captain yes. in 12th standard. Yes. Right. So, in what way that your period as school captain? has given you some insight into the attributes of a good leader because as a, as a civil servant that would be the basic quality which, uh, which you will have to you know, display on almost daily basis. In my opinion, one major takeaway from my leadership in 12th standard has been that a leader is not just a person who leads by example but is also one who makes other feel, other people feel that they are as much a part of the contribution to the team effort as the leader himself or herself. Mm. Team is not just led by the leader, it moves with the leader. This is what I feel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. I would like to know from you the application of mathematics in daily use. In my opinion, the major application of mathematics is the techniques of reasoning, rational judgment and problem solving which mathematics teaches us. However, in schools we do not get to interact with mathematics in such a way that it brings values in us. But as we delve deeper, it starts inculcating those values in us. How Romans managed number system without zero? Romans had a system in which they had an empty placeholder digit which they used for basic accounting but apart from that the use of zero as a number in its own right which could be used in calculations was pioneered by India and before that calculations with zero were not manageable even in ancient Babylonian civilization or in Greeks and Romans so it was only used as a placeholder digit. Um. Can you give a brief overview of the present macro economy situation of India? One, the trade deficit of India is widening and it has crossed 190 billion dollars, which is a matter of concern for us. Unemployment, which was highest during the lockdowns of first COVID wave, have now come down. However, still a large part of our population is seeking employment but is not getting it. Inflation has been a major concern and for the third consecutive month, it has breached the 6% limit which has been set for RBI. And investment and private consumption 
is a place where India needs to focus because that has been lagging behind after the COVID downturn. Okay. So, my last question. Uh, do you like watching films? Yes, sir. Okay. So, comment on the rise of OTT platforms and impact on movie industry. OTT platforms, which basically means over the top, which directly stream movies and other series through internet are platforms which are going to democratize this type of content for example films documentaries short films to every person who has the internet connection and this is going to expand the reach of especially the independent filmmakers who experiment with the type of films they make so this in my opinion is going to widen the reach of all types of cinema to the people however there is also an element of well and entertainment which can only be exercised in a theatre, in a movie hall. So, in that regard, in future, I foresee that OTT and movie theatres are going to move hand in hand and are going to expand the reach of cinema among Indians and the worldwide. Thank you. So, practically, uh, the last question that we would like to place before you would be a question from the topic of your choice. Am I to tell my choice? Yes. Okay. My project as a teacher of underprivileged children. Okay. So, uh, so tell me, uh, if you were the, the district magistrate uh, of one of the districts in your own state, uh, how would you increase the digital literacy? Uh, among this section of children, you know, maybe in the at the elementary school level, can you just throw some light on it? I think I think in that regard, collaboration of district administration with civil society and non-governmental organizations can be a welcome step because these organizations have a grassroots network among people, especially from the vulnerable sections. So they can be of great use to enhance digital literacy. There can be camps which talk about such digital literacy techniques. There can be seminars. There can be volunteer weeks where a particular person goes to a community and talks to them about uh, digital literacy, financial literacy. So, collaboration of district administration with the civil society could be the right way forward. Would you also think of providing hardware? That would depend on the financial situation. Suppose you have the money. After assessment of the most vulnerable people, I would think of providing hardware to the people so that they can come into the mainstream and the digital divide can be curbed. So, Karthike, thank you very much. So, Karthike, very briefly tell us what do you think about your uh, uh, your performance today, give yourself very honest in, uh, assessment, good, bad, what you felt. I feel that my answers could have been crisper. However, I tried to be confident and address the questions in a balanced manner. So, let me give uh, our response to this, otherwise we will forget. So, you were uh, Karthike very crisp. Is it okay if I write? Points? Yes, yes, please do that. We did not find you longish in any of the question except for the introduction which probably you did not know. Okay. So, you went on to tell about where you went, you went to Andhra and then came back, this, that is not required. Okay. Start with your graduation. Okay. Okay. You can mention, sir, I graduated. BSc Honours Maths from St. Stephen's University of Delhi. Okay. After your name, okay. I am so and so. So, I have not worked since then. Okay. And uh, there is no need to tell, I am preparing for I. Okay. Very well known. Why do you have to waste even half a minute of yours Correct. in saying this? Correct. And your main hobbies are this, this, this. Okay. And do not mention about civil services, this, this, unless somebody asks you. Which could be a question. Okay. You know, that uh, why are you opting for civil services? Just okay. standard uh, 
to some you know some people who are engineers very well you know qualified mbbs we wire from doctor to this those those people you know those candidates do do tempt you to ask this question but with a bsc honors i mean this is the best that you can do yes right but even then they can ask sure so it could be more crisp okay and you mentioned just one or two lines about civil services then you have to prepare full fledged okay. why civil services okay diversity of jobs so challenges and opportunities you know reach out is very large sure. to people job satisfaction you know uh, greater satisfaction you know job to kya kya greater satisfaction uh, you know, variety of uh, you know challenges and uh, career prospects sure aur nation nation wali baat mat laiye kyunki aap to usi country ke hi hain every one of us are pet, uh, are supposed Correct. to be patriotic in their own way Correct. so that is how you can attend now anything else that you noted we'll go one by one this was an improvement from my last mock which i took so i felt more confident today okay so last mock interview yes or last mean upsc interview no no last mock this is going to be your first one yes okay i will not ask you how much they gave but uh, let me go on so that's that's it mm. Yes, sir. I okay. tried to answer questions. You are not able to recall. No, don't strain because that will be an afterthought. Yeah. So now the panel feels that you have done very well. Okay. Karthik, uh, your your performance, you have matured. Uh, you have a matured thinking. Looking at your qualifications, you are just a BSc honours, but uh, you talked very maturely. Uh, your uh, uh, personality, I don't need to say, uh, has been very refreshing. Uh, you attended to the questions very well you are quite well informed uh, some of the things which i'll specifically mention that apart but since out of say 10 or 20 12 questions if you were not able to answer one or two that means that proportion ratio may remain in the another set of questions which may be asked in the actual interview you understand sure. my point sure. so that you have to plug sure, so sir. to be current affairs like uh, you did not know about germany yes sir so germany is uh, basically because of our stand on ukraine okay so germany is uh, has has not decided okay has just proposed that we should not call india okay you know okay. as a kind of punishment or message uh. but today if you read the today's newspapers something is going on between the prime minister's office and germany okay. so okay. we need to we need to see whether they actually call or not okay okay now g7 we are are we a part of g7 no sir huh? we are not part of g7 okay then why are we called as a guest of the host correct so that is what you have to remember okay earlier it was g8 you know that yes sir then why then G7? in 2014 when russia correct. annexed crimea very good so this may be a question because uh, 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 you know maybe g7 uh, whatever happens in g7 may be around your interview when okay. is your interview 19th may sir so that will be late but something else may crop up Correct. but you are well informed on that you are pal lena uh, similarly depth ki baat jahan aati hai kartike uh, like uh, the honorable member asked you about that the ogad incident you yes. knew the the basics yes sir but you could have been more you know so sure. deeper uh, deeper knowledge like uh, ndrf you were not able to yeah. just yes, state sir. police and all yes, so sir. just understand the whole thing and what went wrong that is important sure. it is not what you remember the, the 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 people who were involved but where did the problem lie and since uh, the prime minister himself met some of the people yes sir that adds to the importance of the event yes sir right otherwise so many accidents do keep keep happening but this has has been blown up Correct. and uh, because it has been badly managed yes sir you know any mismanagement leading to loss of life you know is a very rare thing which should yeah. not happen so that is another thing so i told you about introduction which was a bit long which you have understood your khargon thing was not very well taken but, uh, you know since i asked you that question okay. you know you kept on i heard you telling the same thing later on yes sir i don't know what uh, wisdom came in between when i went out and came back okay i heard you answering that you know the timing is important sir we should not do it when the uh, i could the... not understand that question in that moment and but then later when the uh, member asked all right so you should have asked okay 
I asked you about timing. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. I was so, I was provoking you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was not just then you just tell about Khargon and you would have you would have we expected you to say such a thing. Yes, sir. I specifically told you that you were the DM, and would you have done it? Yes, sir. And timing, so you could not understand. So always remember Kartike. I mean, I thought that you were scared of uh, the MP administration. He <laughs> pata nahi lot ke kuch wo mere upar. टाइमिंग ऑफ दिस बुलडोजिंग एंड ऑल वॉज नॉट करेक्ट नो एनक्रोचमेंट हेड बीन देर फॉर फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम करेक्ट ना बिफोर थिंग्स कुड सेटल डाउन आई हर्ड दिस सेंटेंस for the communal tension settles down yes this new front should not have been open yes because sir. whenever you it's like a stimulus and response correct right? if you stimulate somebody some the other will will respond so if you bulldoze there has to be some reaction correct sir. and that reaction will will have a you know further spiraling effect huh? spiraling effect spiraling effect so and that is why it's still on correct sir. others have finished more or less so that is another thing This room is a big bigger. Okay. The actual room may be smaller in UPSC. Okay. okay. So, आज आपकी आवाज हल किसी loud होनी चाहिए थी. Okay. Okay. But उस कमरे के लिए आपकी जो है वो pitch सही है. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you कि वहाँ आप पता नहीं जोर से बोलने लगी और वो सभी को छोटे कमरे में. Okay. And uh, last but not the least, when you were talking and delivering, it was. you know the panel thought i mean see it seemed that you know you are uh, reading out something you know from your memory and not conversing with us okay okay now this is uh, something which is most important for you correct, today correct that the most important take away for today right rest is all information and all which you will have correct this is something which you have to, you have to you know, think and change your style okay so you had all the contents you were crisp okay but it was you know like question answer question answer okay question answer okay bring some modulation in your voice okay right and and make it as if you are conversing conversation sure, sure. a little bit of smile okay smiling through lips smiling through eyes you know okay yes. will will show give some pause you know you as you modulate you correct. say the you can say two sentences in in five different ways correct right correct. you can read out like a new reader correct sir and you can you know tell like a boss correct sir you can tell like a child telling to a teacher correct and the last is an adult speaking to an adult who is honorable who is senior and who is in a formal setup correct that kind of conversation you get my point yes sir so it was more like a teacher student okay conversation that you were doing okay sir. just do some practice you okay. have lot of time so anything you have to say and ask us Mm. how can i practice this uh, conversation and voice modulation speak with your friends okay you know speak on a loud uh, on a, on a audio record it okay see your video what what you have done today okay yes and sir. then again see your video today you can even put a video on and you can speak on any topic yes sir, yes, sir. and see how you can modulate yes, and sir. see the difference yes sir take some more mock Yes, sir. I will. Uh, maybe in, in any any institution, yeah. not necessarily here. Okay. Uh, one of your choice. Okay. So do some practicing. So sure. rest is everything is fine, uh, Karthik. Okay. Any so other question? Ah. Okay. Speaking. Uh, okay. And first, no, no, please. After you, no, no, please. I also try seeing the mirror and speaking. Okay. You will get the best of reflection. फ्रेंड्स के अलावा जैसा बताया चेयरमैन साहब ने सो यू कैन सी योर 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 प्रेजेंटेशन मूवमेंट मूवमेंट कॉन्फिडेंस टू वेरी ब्रीफली इज दिस शुड बी वेरी नेचुरल फ्लो आना चाहिए स्क्रिप्टेड भी आना चाहिए जैसा बताया कि न्यूज रीडर काम कर सकता है Supplementing what uh, the honourable member has said, I want to give you an idea. You know, in order to give this impression that you are thinking and speaking, okay. even if you are speaking in a 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me? Okay, sir. That's it. All the best. Thank you. All the best. 